The Lawson Cloud Console is the innovative cloud management tool for external and internal Lawson Cloud Services software deployments. Lawson customers will be able to use the Lawson Cloud Console to manage their on-premise Lawson deployments. And Lawson itself will use the Cloud Console to manage Lawson's full-function enterprise software deployed on Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud infrastructure. The Lawson Cloud Console allows IT administrators to deploy and manage Lawson virtual appliances, which are pre-assembled, ready-to-deploy software bundles. They include everything needed to begin using the software, such as the operating system, necessary non-Lawson third-party software, and the Lawson software application itself. The Cloud Console provides the new ability to click on a Lawson virtual appliance and deploy it by simply dragging and dropping it to a test, development, training, or production area on available hardware. This drag and drop innovation essentially automates complex manual IT tasks that took weeks or even months to complete in the past and can reduce deployment to hours or even minutes. Once the Cloud Console is installed, here's how a Lawson customer can quickly add a virtual appliance like Lawson Smart Office or Enterprise Search. In this case, the customer will deploy the Lawson Smart Office virtual appliance to a test environment. The administrator first logs on to the Cloud Console graphical view. In this Spaces view, we see two environments, test and production. In each of these environments, we see the Lawson System Foundation server. This is the area the virtual appliance will ultimately be deployed. But first, let's explore the Cloud Console a little deeper. On the left side of the screen, we see a link for Fabric, where we find virtualized hardware resources available to the Lawson Cloud Console. For the internal cloud, these are single servers running VMware or VMware resource pools. This defines the infrastructure where virtual appliances will be loaded and manipulated. We also see links for the spaces area shown earlier. The components link contains detailed lists of products and third-party software installed on each virtual appliance. Finally, the inventory link shows available virtual appliances downloaded from the Lawson delivery site. The administrator starts by clicking on Deploy Virtual Appliance. We then see the virtual appliances in the inventory, the spaces that have been created for this customer, and the systems in use in those spaces. We deploy by dragging and dropping the virtual appliance into the test space, simply selecting the machine resource that we want to use. When we drop the appliance to the machine, the console begins to copy the virtual appliance right away. The log at the bottom shows the progress, status, and elapsed time for deployment. Once the virtual appliance is copied, in this case a process that took a little over 20 minutes, we can then connect it to the other software components in the system. To do this, the administrator goes back to the test space, right-clicks on the Smart Office Virtual Appliance, and selects Connect System. Here, we see a list of associated systems that we can connect to, even visual cues that, in this case, the LDAP server is required for successful deployment. We then simply choose the connections we want. This point-and-click configuration is vastly simplified, helping to reduce the chance of manual configuration errors, and it saves time. The final step is to rehydrate. This prepares the virtual appliance to work as a server on the network. First, we right-click on the virtual appliance and choose Rehydrate. We then fill in a few blanks with a domain name, suffix, and a default profile name. We click Next to double-check our entries and then click Finish. After rehydration is complete, the Cloud Console restarts the virtual appliance. The administrator can now conduct any extra configuration and testing, and deploying to the production space follows the same pattern. It's clear to see that the cloud console and virtual appliances make deployment of enterprise applications much easier and faster in a virtualized environment. By taking advantage of Lawson Cloud Services, organizations can begin to enjoy the benefits of greater IT agility, greater simplicity, faster time to value, and the reallocation of precious IT staff to more strategic activities.